Hi there. What's the best mesh Wi-Fi system available in 2022? Well, it depends where you go on the internet. You can go all manner of places and everyone's got their own choice, but I've just done a quick search and it suits me to go this way. But mesh, mesh Tech Advisor have come up with some of what they think are the best and one that they've come up that they think is the best, top of their list, TP-Link Deco P9, best overall. And this is because it uses power line networking as well as all the other tech that it uses. So let me first of all explain to you how um, mesh Wi-Fi works on the P9. And I'll try and put some graphics together to show you what this power line networking actually means. So let's get down there and see if we can do this right now. Please excuse the simplistic nature of these graphics. There's the router in your house, okay? And then I'm gonna put a line around it there, which shows you, not accurately, but this is trying to demonstrate that that router will send a Wi-Fi signal out through the house. It'll get weaker as it goes further and further away from the router. So as I say, this is for illustration purposes only. So what you do is you get yourself a mesh Wi-Fi system. So there's your mesh Wi-Fi system and that goes next to your router and you'll plug that in. I'll show you a little graphic at the moment. And the idea being that you're creating a stand alone side by side almost network that goes next to your router. You can disable your existing Wi-Fi and just use this new one using the mesh system. So you hardwire that primary node they call it into your router just like that there okay and then what that means is you're um you're now going to create a new wi-fi network using that mesh system so let's put a circle around to show you there so you're on the green system now but that's no different in terms of um size of network compared to your router so what's the point of this the point is you can add more nodes so let's add another one in now that one will, the two nodes will connect wirelessly. You can do it so they're wired, but they'll use their Wi-Fi to talk from one to the other and they'll maintain good signals. And then that second node can emit again and you can keep adding more and more across your house at different levels, um, upstairs, downstairs, at different parts of your house. As long as each one can talk to the next, you're going to extend the range bit by bit so let's show it there so now we've got another one so you can see now the green range is getting further around your house buying more of these decos allows you to extend the range and you can mix and match your decos they've all got different capabilities but you can mix and match them what happens if there's a wall in between where well, you can position the nodes around to get around that but this is where the p9 comes into its own because what the p9 can do is you can use power lines what on earth are power lines? Well, this is a different type of tech. Basically, you can plug a power line, a socket into one of your sockets in your house and then somewhere else on the same circuit in your house. So say downstairs sockets. And then the power line system uses that internal electrical wiring as a network. So it'll send your data along that wire and into the other um, power line at the other end. So these P9 units you can do that. So you can see I've plugged one in either side of the wall and it'll then, using your electrical system, be able to get through that wall and send the signal onto the next node. And this is the signals between the two nodes are what they call backhaul. Strange term, but it means backhaul. It's basically the connection between the two nodes. What type of connections can you get for backhaul? Backhaul can be achieved in basically three ways. One is use Wi-Fi to create that connection between your two nodes, which is what they call the backhaul. Two is you can use an ethernet cable to just connect from one of your nodes to the other. And the third option, which is what the P9 does, is you can use the power line technology. So you just literally plug it in to um, one socket, just the power, nothing else and then plug it into the other. And as long as they're on the same circuit, one will talk to the other. So that gives you a really good backhaul, so a connection between your nodes, and that allows your nodes to then talk to each other and spread that Wi-Fi signal further 
throughout the house. So there you have it folks, that is the TP-Link Deco P9. Should I buy it? Well, as you can see, Tech Advisor, they give an expert rating of four and a half out of five stars. That power line connectivity is something that might be beneficial to you if you've got loads of thick walls in your house. You do get a stable um, mesh Wi-Fi system and, and I've had no problems with it at all. And um, it does not have um, Wi-Fi 6, which is a faster type of Wi-Fi. But to be honest, you'll have fast Wi-Fi with um, the Deco P9. There's a quick comparison there, folks, between a comparison between the TP Deco P9 and the Virgin Media Hub. So over distances, you can see you're getting more megabits per second um, just using the general wi the mesh Wi-Fi. And as you can see, as you get further away, so out in the garden, you're getting nothing on some of these systems. With these P9s, with clever thought on where you position your nodes, you can get signal all around the house. Hope you hope you enjoy that. Hope it was of use. Please subscribe. Catch you guys on the Wi-Fi Smithfly flip side. I couldn't have said it better myself.